living and non-living things. We are surrounded by living and non-living things. Everything around us is either living or non-living. People are living. A cat playing with a ball is living. All living things must have seven characteristics. All seven characteristics must be present in an order for an organism to be living. Number one, move. All living things have movement. An example of movement is a monkey running from one place to another. Number one, move. Number two, grow. All living things grow. An example is when babies grow up to be big like their parents. Number two, grow. Three, feed or eat. All living things obtain food from their environment. An example is a panda feeding off the leaves from trees. Three, feed or eat. Four, reproduce. All living things reproduce or have offspring. An example of reproduction is a dog and her puppies. Four, reproduce. Five, breathing or respiration. All living things take in air from their environment in order to survive. Example, a man has to breathe while he runs a race. Five, breathing or respiration. Six, excretion. All living things get rid of their waste. For example, when people eat food, they must get rid of waste by going to the restroom. Six, excretion. Seven, sensitivity. All living things are aware of their surroundings. We see, smell, hear, taste, and feel. Seven, sensitivity. Living and non-living things. Sometimes objects can seem living because they may have one or more characteristics of living things. For example, a boat moves, but it is not living. Non-living things. If an object does not have all seven characteristics of living things, then it is non-living. Is a flower living or non-living? A flower is living. It obtains water and soil and light from the environment. A new flower comes from seeds from a grown flower. It is living. Is a bike living or non-living? A bike is non-living. It moves but it does not eat, or reproduce, or even grow. It is non-living. Is a baby living or non-living? A baby is living. 
They eat, use the bathroom, grow, and eventually have their own babies when they grow up. A baby is living. Living and non-living things. Living and non-living things are all around us. Look around. Can you tell the difference now? In order for something to be living, it must move, grow, eat, reproduce, breathe or respire, excrete waste, and have senses. Thank you for listening. Remember, living things equal bacteria, plants, and animals. Non-living things equal soil, water, physical space, and energy. In order for something to be living, it must move, grow, eat, reproduce, breathe, or respire, excrete waste, and have senses. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something.